side here and today I am going to be talking about something a little bit new. I've got uh, two shipping containers in my backyard here that I'm going to convert into a gym. So I'm going to do it slowly. The first thing that we've done here is, uh, well I guess I should go over how much I paid for these shipping containers. So I paid $7,600 for two of them about two years ago, maybe a year and a half ago. And uh, it included delivery. Um, and I sort of positioned them the way that they are right now with my little excavator here from like the 1970s or 80s. Um, I've got this for like six grand off uh, something similar to Craigslist. And uh, so I used that to just push them and level them out. And it actually worked out pretty good. So uh, with the restrictions from the pandemic and everything that's going on, uh, a lot of the gyms have been shut down. I got fed up with it. Uh, so I decided to put a little bit of money into uh, converting this into a gym. So the idea is to cut the middle, the middle out here and join the two together one day. But for now, this one's still full of stuff. So I can't cut it. I can't uh, bother cutting and joining them right now. I need to clear this one out. So what we've done is we've, we've emptied this one and uh, I framed it out. So I'll show you in here and we did some electrical as well. So there we go. So, um, so I, this is all framed up with just uh, two by two pieces of wood, I guess you could call it. Um, trying to trying to um, maximize my space in here as much as I could. So it's just two by twos along this wall here, uh, and then up on the roof here, we ended up using full size two by fours. So I actually brought a professional electrician in to wire this. Um, I figured, you know what, might as well do it right. So um, the electrician had a panel that he donated to me, which was pretty good of him. I've used him a lot on, on jobs and stuff like that. So he's pretty reasonable. So uh, got a breaker panel here. So I told him that I wanted uh, a plug for a TV. So he put one there for me. And I told him I wanted three plugs down at the bottom. So we got one, two, and then third plug is right here. And so that way, if I got a couple pieces of gym equipment, I can plug them in. I said that I wanted uh, a plug in the ceiling for a air mover fan. And uh, we've got another plug in this corner here on a 30 amp. Um, breaker and that is for a unit heater if I ever decide hey it's too cold in here uh, I can mount a unit heater there and uh, heat the place up so the lights that I'll be using are these lights here from Costco I got them on sale I think they're about 40 bucks a light uh, they're dimmable uh, they're I guess um, they call it tunable technology so they can go either uh, warm white or cool white. We all know that everybody likes warm white, unless you want to feel like you're in Walmart. And so we got, we're set up to do one light there and one light there, and it should be sufficient enough to light the area up. They're very strong LED lights. Uh, and then I'm gonna have a rocker switch here to turn the lights on and off. Actually a dimmer it's gonna be, so they're dimmable. So I'm getting pretty excited. So the next stage here is uh, I'm gonna get a company to come in and spray foam this wall here, the back wall and the roof. So we're gonna do 20 by eight, 20 by eight and eight by eight. And uh, I got a quote for that and I'm looking at about $550 for, I believe he said it was an R value of six. Um, and uh, it's basically, they're gonna come and they're gonna spray, spray it. They'll have a special spray truck, spray truck, and they're gonna spray it here, and it's gonna be about one inch thick. And he said that would give me an R value of six. He says that's what most guys do with the shipping containers. The reason why I'm not spray foaming this side here is because eventually I'm hoping to uh, 
cut that that wall out i don't want to spend you know a couple hundred bucks spraying that and then have it decide down the road that i'm going to cut that and join it with the other can the other thing that we did here was we're trying to be mindful of the future and uh we've set up so that there's extra whips over here for wiring for these for these lights so that if i ever put two more lights in the other c can it'll all operate off one light switch and then uh same thing with the plugs i've extended it so there's more outlets that way because once this is spray foamed and drywalled there's no access to it right so i wanted to make sure that we had the future wiring uh, when necessary so that's sort of uh the first stage of the c can um so this is the insulation stage that i just had done so my last video there i had uh, a little video on the electrical and the framing so I had this uh, spray foam guy come in here and do some spray foam. And uh, he actually did a really good job. He was a pretty good guy. He ended up uh, laying some poly down for me and everything for the overspray. And uh, he was only supposed to give me an R6 value, which is about one inch of insul insulation. But it looks like he gave me quite a bit more than that. So that was pretty sweet of him to do that. Um, he did have some problems with his machine when he first showed up, his pump broke. So his trailer was stuck here for a couple days and the job was delayed a little bit, but uh, I think he made up for it by um, uh, giving me this extra thick insulation. So uh, it, it was, this C-can is uh, 20 feet by eight feet. So we did the three sides. So. 20 by eight here, 20 by eight here, and eight by eight here. And he charged a dollar sixty a square foot. So it worked out to 615 bucks. And uh, he told me that if I cut off the overspray by myself and I give him cash, he'd save me a um, hundred bucks. So I ended up getting it for $550. So um, originally I was thinking of doing drywall, but one of my friends, kind of suggested, hey, you should just panel board it in there and it could be cheaper and quicker and everything else. So I'm thinking instead of drywalling, taping and mudding, I'm just gonna panel board it. So my next video will be the panel board. Got the roof sheeted with this drywall ceiling holder. And the C-can gym is done. So I'd give you guys a quick peek of how it turned out. So yeah, it's uh, all wired up on. I should show you how it's powered. We got a plug right here, 30 amp plug, and a big massive extension cord that runs from here all the way from the main house out here. And this is it. There's probably a couple more things I might do. I might frame in these these doors as well or I might cut the doors off and put in a sliding glass door um, but yeah we've got this uh, sort of foam flooring that I got on uh, Facebook marketplace and snapped it all together it went in pretty quick cut the edges to get rid of um, the sort of puzzle pieces just with an, a knife along the edge and uh, I think it's good enough for now. So we'll, I'll show you what I got for equipment. Take my shoes off here. So I've got this piece of equipment uh, from Costco. I set it up. I believe it's called a Macy Pro training system. There's the um, bench right there. Let's just take a look. I'll show you the instructions. So it's the Macy Pro Smith Machine SM4903. Now this thing came in five boxes, I believe, and took nine hours to set up. Now I'm a tradesman and uh, this thing was a fucking pain in the ass. So for the average person to put together, expect nine to 10 hours of time to put it together, but it's a great piece piece of equipment I'm pretty happy with it it's a smith machine it's also got a squat rack right here but there's the smith right here and then it's got 
uh, cables right here, weighted cables. So you pull on this weight, right? So it's got those on both sides and down here as well. One there, one there. And then it's got a dip spar. So this dip spar just clips in right here and you can do dips. Um, so yeah, pretty happy with it. The, the bench is adjustable. I threw my back out to be honest, so I haven't really got to use it much. So I'll do a review on it later. It has a chin up bar as well right here. Get some chin ups in. So um, yeah, pretty stoked about it. Um, I ended up getting some mirrors. Uh, I, I spent a hundred bucks on their, their closet mirrors. And I ended up uh, just saying, you know what, these will work good. So there's uh, four closet mirrors, two I put horizontal, two vertical, and uh, painted it white in here. We started to run out of a little bit of paint, so it's not absolutely perfect, but uh, it's good enough. 